and welcome back to Love Your Food. Today we're going to show you this very simple and delicious recipe for a lemon garlic roast chicken. And uh, what we're doing here is going to be a, uh, it's a wet rub to the chicken using garlic, spices, and lemon juice. And uh, we're going to start with some ingredients here for you. Uh, our spices here are going to be oregano and thyme. We also have uh, a dried chili pepper, some garlic, uh, we're going to use some lemon juice, and a little bit of olive oil as well. So to start, we're going to take our garlic, our spices, and that chili pepper, and we're going to mince it all together, and we're going to mince it up very, very finely. What we're doing here is we're making a rub to marinate the chicken in. Now, with this kind of rub, you don't need to sit it too long, uh, but you can go ahead and make this the day before, let the flavors kind of mingle up a little bit, or you can make it at the time you're making your chicken. So because we're going to try and uh, get as much contact with our flavorful ingredients here uh, as we can with the chicken, we definitely want to mince that up very, very finely. So we're going to make sure that uh, everything here is chopped up very, very small. Now, because we are making a marinade and we do want some good flavor penetration from those ingredients, once we've got it minced very, very nicely in small pieces, we're going to add some salt. There you go. And then we're going to add our oil. Now the reason we're doing that now is because we're going to make a paste out of it. Uh, what you see Chef Caleb doing here is he's just using the flat of his blade and he's just pressing that down against his cutting board a little bit to grind up the garlic and the herbs and the chili pepper and the oil and salt together into a paste. Now this takes a little bit of practice. It's a little easier if you want. You can use uh, a garlic press. It'll start a little bit closer to this already. But with a little bit of practice, it's not all that difficult to get used to. And there you go. Beautiful marinade for your chicken. So we're going to go into our bowl that we're going to use, that we're going to marinate in. And we're going to squeeze our quarter lemon in there. And then we're going to add our tasty garlic paste. We're going to give that a little bit of a mix as well, just to make sure everything's blended in there. So once you have all your little remaining little bits, just give it a mix so you can get the garlic and lemon all together. Never hurts to have a little bit of black pepper as well. And then in with the chicken. Now we prefer to use uh, bone in, skin on thighs, but basically you can use just about anything. Uh, you can use drumsticks. We prefer to use chicken that has its skin still on it because we want to, when we roast it, we do want to get some of that nice crispy skin on top. So we're trying to get uh, everything really well coated, and then we're going to put that right skin side up into our preheated pan. So this is going to roast for probably 30 to 45 minutes at 375. You want to keep the temperature below 400 for anything like this. We're actually going to cook this for a little bit longer at a lower temperature. So once you have all of that in that nice hot grill pan, that's going to go into our oven. And that's at 350. And we're going to put that in for half an hour to start. So after half an hour, we took it out. And it didn't look 
quite done yet. We want a little bit more brown on there. So what we're going to do is take some of those lovely juices. Just going to spoon and spoon it over top. We're just going to give it a little baste. Those nice, flavorful juices, a little bit of fat. It goes over the top. It really helps with the browning. And just do that over all of your chicken. Put it back in the oven and then after about 45 minutes to an hour, it's done. So you want to do that in about 10 minute increments until it's finished. Now we like to serve this sort of souvlaki style. Serve it with pita. We've already done videos on baba ganoush and hummus. It goes very well with those. A little bit of fatouche or tzatziki. And you have a delicious dinner. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe below. And if there's any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try, please do let us know in the comments. And remember to love your food. Mm -hmm.